Hello guys and welcome to my channel. I heart Aries and my name is Chelsea and this is a channel where we do all Aries readings and today I'm going to be doing your mid-September reading. I apologize. I am a little late but that's okay. Let's go ahead. This is going to be for the energies um, surrounding you and what's going on in your life um, from now until the end of September. Okay. So let's see here. I'm going to start with the Moonology card. I think we have a full moon coming up. I think so. A full moon coming up. So let's go ahead and get started with a Moonology card. <clears throat> so what do we have here? We have a look at the bigger picture. The full moon in Sagittarius. And communication is key. Okay. New moon in Gemini. All right. So before I get started with the tarot, I'm going to pull some of my tea leaf cards. Okay, let's get started here. Holy Spirit, Spirit and Angel, please allow me to deliver a clear message for the Aries Collective. What is coming towards them in the next two weeks? The last two weeks of September, what is coming towards Aries? You guys take what resonates, leave what doesn't. These are just predictions. Okay. Let's see here. So we have the caterpillar energy here. Things will not always be this way. A change is coming. Beautiful. So a change is coming for this next two weeks. If things have been difficult for you, um, if you feel like you have not been seeing forward movement in your life, some stagnation, things are about to change for you. It was not, it will not always be this way. Usually when things are like this, it's a like a, it's getting the hangman energy. It's kind of like you need to see something or you need to look at something more closely, kind of like look at the bigger picture here. So universe may make, be making you make a pause right now so you can see things a little differently than maybe how you've been seeing them. Oh, this is beautiful. So we have the lily energy here, spiritual love. Oh, wow. So you might be having a deep soul connection with somebody coming up here in the next two weeks. Wow. And this remember, this is just for the second half of September. So this is coming up fairly quickly. What do we have? Diamond, you will be receiving or giving a precious gift. Beautiful. Diamond, that is the April, I don't want to say Aries, but that's the April birthstone. If you're if you're an April Aries, that is your birthstone. It is my birthstone. So we'll pull three more. What do we have for Aries? Romance is in the air. Aries, you are going to be in love this month. If you are not already in love, you are about to be meeting a romantic partner or you're going to be falling in love with somebody. And it's going to be a very deep spiritual connection here. Okay. I love this. So you have Lily and Rose. I love that. Okay. What is this? The pineapple reconciliation. Okay, some of you may want to hear that, some of you may not. <laughs> okay, let's see. You may be reconciling with someone. And the last card we have is Spear, heartache over what you no longer have. Oh no, okay. So this is obviously this can't all resonate with all of you, but somebody here may be feeling lost. This spear looks like a devil's spear. I don't know if the devil carries a spear. I'm not sure, but it looks like it. Heartache over what you no longer have. Okay. Well, I hope you don't stay in that energy too long. We're all human. We all hurt, right? So um, it's probably just a, a, a learning lesson for you, Aries, okay? A hiccup. I'm trying to see what I feel here. Hmm. You know, Aries, I just want to tell you that if anything has left or will leave your life in the near future, this is definitely for your own good. I know most of you know that, but sometimes when we're in these situations where we are heartbroken, we tend to forget that and we don't see that sometimes this is for the best, all right? So don't try to hold on to anything that is leaving your life at this moment in time, because if it's leaving your life right now, I feel like it's making room for something new because you have a lot of love energy coming in towards you in the next weeks. Beautiful. So 
let's see here what's going on with Aries here for the next two weeks. The second half of September, what is going on? What is going on with Aries for the second half of September? What do they need to see? Aries is there. It's in the cards. Wow. And the Empress. Two of Cups. That is that divinely guided spiritual connection. This is beautiful. Two of Cups is its soulmate energy. It's my favorite love card, okay? Um, because it says that you are equally yoked. I feel your cup and you feel my cup. It's a very balanced connection. This is how you want it to be. This is how love succeeds here. So you have romance coming towards you, Aries. I feel like this is a very beautiful new beginning. The Empress talks about abundance, talks about elevation, wealth, you know, somebody may have you on a pedestal. You may be the apple of their eye, Aries, here. So let's see here. All right. So what is the challenge? We have the Seven of Pentacles. We have the Page of Swords. Seven of Pentacles is that Earth energy here. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus energy. Aries, the challenge. Could this be? So I'm getting two things. Okay, so... One Aries, you have to be open to love, right? You want to be open to this love. Now, maybe it might be somebody you might not want. I'm not sure, but be open to this love. Allow people to invest into you and you invest into other things as well and connections as well. Some of you, I feel like you feel like you may be having to wait for this. And you know we're not the most patient people here. You may feel like you may have been waiting too long. I'm not sure exactly. We're going to find out exactly what this challenge is. Let's clarify some of the pentacles. Knight of Cups. They're coming in. Okay. Maybe you feel like this person here. Now this feels like very, this feels like old energy. Let's clarify here this Knight of Cups. The High Priestess. Okay, so maybe somebody here wasn't as forthcoming with you with information, so you're unsure about this new connection, okay? That's what I'm feeling like. But Aries, hold your horses, okay? Hold your horses. I don't, I'm not getting the energy that this is a bad connection or a bad person coming in. The high priestess is showing you that this is definitely a spiritual connection. Even though this person's coming in as the knight of cups here, they are moving kind of slow. I don't feel like this is that energy of that love bombing energy. I feel like more or less this person is going to court you. They're going to date you. They're going to slowly invest into this connection. You don't want everything to be full throttle all the time, right? This is probably going to be a healthy change from what you're used to, okay? Let's see here. What does spirit want you focus on? You, the emperor, where did this came in the same position earlier today? This just means the energy here is kind of like, it, it's repetitive because you need to see this message. This is why I don't like to do so many readings in the same day because I'm doing them all for Aries. So I tend to get the same cards in the same position. But this, the fact that it came out again in a different reading, this is a very strong message here, Aries, that you need to take some time to invest in you, to take care of yourself, nurture yourself, get in control of whatever you may need to do to be ready for this love for this connection to come in okay maybe you need to take care of yourself a little bit more now physically spiritually and emotionally what happened in the past here Ooh, the devil energy here so someone may have broken free from a toxic connection or you're leaving some toxic person in your past here quite literally i mean just just that's just what it is, okay? I don't even want to go any deeper into that energy right now because this seems like here in September, here in the second half of September, that the focus here is new love or this two of cups, this relationship that you're in. We'll go back and clarify. What's crowning Aries? Queen of Wands here. So it could be another fire sign, Aries Leo Sag here, Aries. This could be you obviously taking the advice from spirit, getting back into your power Okay, standing tall here. For some of you, if this is a job, I just want to say this because it's coming through strongly. If some of you, this is a job or something like that, you're going to be getting an, um, a promotion for sure. Okay, that's just coming through. And I have to say that you're going to be getting some sort of promotion. So go ahead and take that. We have the hermit here at the bottom of the deck. All right, so what do we have moving forward? It was flipped out. 
We have the Page of Wands and the Queen of Swords. Two people here. Okay, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sag here. You may be getting some communication here. I feel like this is from a past person, but let's clarify this Queen of Swords. Nine of Pentacles. Okay, some of you, this is not what this is at all. Some of you may be getting communication, and this is just for, I don't know, a few of you. Some of you may be getting some communication about some incoming wealth or money that you were expecting. That's what I got instantly in the Nine of Pentacles setup. So you may have been waiting for some sort of finance or some fi some sort of financial payout that may have been taking a very long time. It's finally going to come towards the end of the month, okay? Because the Queen of Swords is giving me like contracts, legal situations, lawyer, something like that. Could be with school too if you've been waiting on some sort of payout, refund. It's going to come. You're going to get communication about that towards the end of the month. And I feel like it's going to help you out greatly this month. Okay, because we do have the diamond energy you will be receiving or giving a precious gift. So it could just be um, a check or some sort here. All right, so let's see here. What is the energy that Aries is in towards the end of the month? Did that card flip? Mm -mm. The Fool. Oh my goodness. So again, same position as a different reading that I did Aries the emperor in the same position and the fool Aries you're starting you're turning over a new leaf this is a new connection I feel like that's coming towards you you're taking a leap of faith you're breaking away from the old you're moving towards the new here this is good this is a new cycle that you're starting a lot of you have been doing the work you've been healing you've cut off communication with this toxic person you've decided to move forward in your life here yeah there's the death card so you're going through a huge transformation right now. Let's see what's in your energy, in your environment, excuse me. Oof, the Nine of Swords. Somebody is not okay. They're not okay that you left them here with this Nine of Swords energy. They're having sleepless nights. They're thinking about you. They're wondering why you won't communicate with them. They want to talk to you, okay? Somebody is holding on or pulling your energy at night. You may be dreaming about this person, but I feel like this is this person here from your past here. They're really, really, really going through it because you're not speaking to them. And if you think they're going through it, look at that four of cups here. You must have rejected this person. If you think that they're going through it right now, wait till they get a whiff of you with somebody new in this new connection. Oh my goodness. I didn't even see this in this card, but in this card, if you see that, that lady above, that's kind of like, um, we always joke about like the sleep paralysis demon or something like that. So I feel like somebody is like having cold sweats, maybe even going through sleep paralysis at night, having nightmares about you. It's really bad. It's really bad. We'll go back and clarify. All right. So we're here. Six of swords. This is all you want, Aries, is peace. That's all you want. Peace, harmony, tranquility. You're moving on. Any kind of toxic drama, any kind of manipulation, you're moving on from it. And I feel like you're about to move into a very new, a very beautiful new cycle in your life. Let's see here. The outcome. Page of Cups. Communication. This could be an apology, but this feels like the new love coming in. We have the Eight of Cups here at the bottom. So you've walked away from something completely. And now you're getting new communication from this new person. That's what I honestly feel like that is. Justice underneath in the Four of Cups. Let's clarify. Pull this deck out. Let's see what's going on here. All right. Let's clarify. Where should we start? Because there's so much going on. But let's start with the Page of Cups here and the outcome. <clears throat> real good all right so who's this page of cups coming towards Aries who is this page of cups 
Wow, the fool. Okay, so same energy as you, Aries. You could be making this leap of faith towards someone as well, communicating with someone. This could be another Aries here coming towards you. They're taking a, a risk here. I feel like somebody's working up the courage to come towards you and talk to you. Let's see. What is what else do we know about the page of cups? In the world, this could be somebody at a distance here. Somebody's traveled towards you. We have the three of swords at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like this whole situation is coming after a very painful cycle. All right. A cycle that you've ended. Somebody may have had a third party situation underneath. We have the uh, chariot and the empress again. All right. So Aries, it seems like you. this is a brand new beginning with the world in the fool card here. This is new, new love, new communication. This is beautiful. Okay, let's go ahead and clarify the Two of Cups. The first card that came out, the strongest energy here. What do we have for the Two of Cups? What does Aries need to see? All right, so we have the Four of Cups. I feel like this is after you have turned down somebody or rejected somebody, Aries. I feel like once you wake up, you look in front of your face, hey, the universe is presenting me with a new cup, a new love offer here. Okay. So sometimes this is an energy of also being thankful for what you have, being in gratitude. We we tend to miss the blessings right in front of our face. Look at that, two of cups at the bottom. We tend to miss the blessings right in front of our face when we're like sad or we're still thinking about the past. Let's clarify one more time. King of Wands. Wow. Okay, Aries. So this is definitely, some of you are definitely about to be getting into a relationship with another fire sign. The crowning the crowning energy is the queen of wands here. Okay, now we have the king of wands. We have a divine partner. We have the fool. We have the emperor. These are all Aries cards. Let's clarify the queen of wands. The three of wands. Three of wands and the magician. More Aries energy here. Aries, Leo, Sag, Gemini could be the magician as well. This is something that you've manifested. Something that you've been waiting for. Look, if y'all have done your, you know, new moon rituals, candle magic, something that you have manifested recently is coming towards you. Okay. For those of you who want to look at this, oh Lord, how many cards coming out? We'll take this because this fell right on top of the emperor. Let's see. The Emperor is clarifying the Emperor with the Nine of Cups. You can't make this up. Aries, there's a wish fulfillment coming towards you in the next two weeks, in the end of September here. You're about to be getting new love. You're about to be getting something that you've wished for, something that you've manifested. It's going to be a brand new beginning, a brand new cycle. If this doesn't happen exactly here in the next two weeks, definitely in the beginning of October, you're going to see this manifest. Mark my words. Come back here. Tell me. It's just too much here. This new love, this new energy. We have the fool twice. We have the emperor twice. Okay. Um, we have the two of cups here. I feel like I've seen it twice. I don't see that. I think I saw it, but I don't see it now. Okay. So let's see here. What do we have in the devil energy? What was this in the past? Four of pentacles. This is why you're seeing all of this manifest in the next two weeks. Why? Because you finally pulled your energy back. You're holding back, okay? Nine of Swords, someone is not happy. Somebody is stressed out. Somebody is up at night thinking about you. They've lost you. What is the, the devil here? The Six of Cups, this past person. Look at that, the devil. This past person. I feel like they may have been trying to hold on to you, Aries, but you pulled your energy back. Finally, you pulled your energy back. Let's see here. With the challenge, was this in the challenge position? Let's see. Okay, yeah. So we had the High Priestess clarifying the Seven of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. We'll show you one more time here. So that was in the challenge position. Let's go ahead and clarify that. Let's clarify the challenge here the chariot so you could be dealing with a cancer i'm telling you it just feels like somebody was taking their time moving towards you look at that the lovers they've been taking their time moving towards you and aries you're not a very patient person so you've had to wait on this but this seems like a very spiritual connection 
coming towards you. Now, I, I just, that's the only thing I can tell you is that this person here was taking their time. I feel like they're going to come in very, look, all of a sudden they come in. I think this is more or less about you being patient, Aries, the Knight of Swords here. All of a sudden this person takes action. Five of Swords. So they may have not been coming towards you because they've been trying to strategize. They've been trying to plan out a way to come towards you. I feel like some of them may have been dealing with something in their um, situation as well. We have the communication is key. New Moon and Gemini. So they could be a Gemini as well. But I feel like more or less they've been trying to strategize on what to say, how to come towards you. Look at that. But they're going to come. The Ace of Cups. They're going to come. All right, hold your horses, Aries. They're going to come. All right, so let's clarify one more time. The Page of Wands, the Queen of Swords, and the Nine of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. What did I tell you? Didn't I tell you this? For some of you, for I said there's one money message that came up in here, and that was what's coming towards you in the future. Somebody is going to be getting some sort of letter, communication about some sort of money or payout that is coming towards you at the end of the month. I feel like it's been owed to you. Six of Pentacles is a gift from the universe. Okay, this is a very generous offer, gift. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Pentacles. So somebody here is going to be getting, receiving some sort of communication of money that was owed to you. Okay, and it's going to be coming to you towards the end of the month. All right, so I'm losing my voice. So I need to stop now. <laughs> and I'm going to talk to you guys later. Bye.